intrigue strategies. Intrigue, innuendo, and intimidation. Intrigue, it make you look good. It makes you look good, young people. I was telling the young people them this morning, amen, in the Sunday school class, and while they were talking, I said, God, here goes the word. That boy will make it look good. I told the young people them this morning. Listen, young men, young ladies. And I tell them this morning. That boy will tell you anything he wants to tell you. Anything just to make you feel good. And you know what? You see people who are vulnerable. They get stuck into that kind of thing easily. I told them this morning in the class, I said, I asked this question, how much are you worth as a young woman? How much are you worth? They told me they were priceless. I said, then why is that boy getting between your legs? He said, that means you're not priceless. You're easy to get. You abandon your position. You step off the wall. So now you're an open target to the enemy. And the devil will entreat you. The devil will set you up. Don't let no man tell you he wants to be your friend. Because one of the five men just will be your friend. Those other four... will deceive you. And I told them, men talk. I get you. I go tell Ella Lawrence she was an easy catch. And what do you think Ella Lawrence is going to do? I already get you, you know. Ella Lawrence a movie, you know. And he'll tell the other one. And before you know it, what do you think happened to you? You're a run through. You're easy easy to get. And that's what I'm talking about. You can't abandon your position. You've got to have some integrity. You've got to have a, a, some boundaries set. What is it about me that makes me so different? That set me apart from everybody else? I'm a child of the king. I am a shot I'm a son of God. <laughs> I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. All things are passed away. I'm different. I'm not like everybody else. I told them I was 32 years old when I got married and I was a virgin. And I'm not ashamed. I will declare that boldly. And my wife was a virgin. Both of us, we kept ourselves. You know why? Because we had some integrity. We knew what we were about. I tell him I didn't need to run through nobody. No. I was in church and all I knew was church. I was involved and I stood my position. Because I knew where the Lord called me. I stood there and I did what God had me to do. I went to school and I studied. I got my education. And when the Lord was ready to give me a wife, he did. I waited on the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I told them, if you were in the world prior to being saved, that's all right. But once you walk into the church, God has removed all them sins. Cast them into a sea of forgetfulness. No, you're a chaste virgin of the Lord. You don't want to keep that door open no more. Close that door. I'm not coming down. I have a shot. Not your satan. I will not abandon my position. I'm going to stay on the wall. The Lord called me to build. And I'm going to build. I'm not going to be distracted. I'm not going to be intimidated. I'm not going to let the devil use nothing. To pull me out. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You can't afford to have the enemy distract you. Amen, praise God. You've got to stay on the wall. That's right, do what the Lord call you to do. Don't move. You're going to have to do some sacrifices. You have to put in sacrifices. Listen, I said this war called for sacrifices. Listen, I was reading the thing and I was thinking about it. Young people, and not even young people, all of us. We are not putting in any sacrifice. No. So my God, I feel tired tonight. I'm not moving. 
We're the sacrifice. It's your people's service. I'm going to pull myself up and I'm going. We're the sacrifice. A lot of us are on this thing. We have an easy ride going through. And you know what? The sad thing about it. A lot of us not going to make it in the kingdom, you know. And you know why we're not going to make it in the kingdom? Because we think we're right. You think you're right. You have justified yourself. What you are doing is right. And so all truth look like a lie. Deception. I'm finished. That was my word. That's what the Lord told me. That's young people. Watch it. Stay on the wall. And don't come down. Don't let nobody, no matter what they're giving you, don't tell it out. I said, don't tell this thing out. I mean, it bleeds in my heart. Don't tell it out. And if you fall, get off. Push yourself on. Keep on going. How about God bless you. Hallelujah.